with the bulk of free agency wrapped up, we can start to make some sense of what's gone on in the NBA this summer. He's Jesse Blancarte. I'm Steve Kyler. And Jesse, I, I think when you look at kind of some of the deals that got done, there were some teams that really improved themselves this offseason. I mean, the obvious one's clearly the Golden State Warriors. You add a Kevin Durant, you get Zaza Pachulia for basically nothing. David West walks to you with that core that won 73 games. Hard to say that anybody in the NBA did better than the Golden State Warriors. Absolutely. Well, I would say that the Utah Jazz did pretty well for themselves, too. They added some veteran pieces in uh, George Hill, Joe Johnson, and uh, Boris Diaw. And for a team that has such good young players, adding, adding veterans like that to help you get to that next step, to bring these younger guys along and to move that development towards its next step, I think those were some pretty good moves. I think it adds a lot of versatility for their team, and I really like what they did with their roster this offseason. Yeah, it's, it's easy to forget that the Utah Jazz were one of those teams that was right there in the Western Conference. You add a veteran two-way player like a George Hill, and then you get somebody like Joe Johnson. And, you know, Joe Johnson gets a lot of heat from fans, but he is still a very productive player. And when you need a bucket, you can go to Big Joe. So that one's pretty easy. Um, you know, the Memphis Grizzlies, I think, did well, especially when you factor in what they did in the draft. You get a Wade Baldwin. You get a Deontay Davis. I like that quite a bit. Resign Mike Conley, and I know a lot of people get nuts about the money, but if you think about it, they didn't re-sign him. You could fold up the tent in Memphis because that franchise would be over. But the Chandler Parsons signing, you know, that could go both ways. He could be that missing player that they've needed, or with his injury history, he could be a bit of a problem. Absolutely. That, those injuries are pretty severe. He had a microfracture, kind of hybrid uh, surgery done, and those injuries are always going to be an issue for a player like Parsons. Where speed cutting is a big part of their game, so I think that's an issue. I also like what the Indiana Pacers did this offseason. They, they, too, added some uh, more talent, some more veterans to their, their team. They were a little deficient talent-wise last season. Frank Vogel did his best to get them uh, to a deep playoff run, but ultimately they fell short. They added... Jeff Teague, Thaddeus Young, and Al Jefferson, three proven players on deals that aren't going to break the bank, and they still have a little bit of flexibility left. So I like what they did. I think they added some talent. They're still a little bit of a slow team, but I think that overall they've improved their talent, which I like. Yeah, we'll see what Coach Nate McMillan can do. You think about the way Miles Turner came on towards the end, and hey, if you've got Paul George, you got a shot. But I really like the balance of the Indiana Pacers. So there were a number of teams that improved. Those were some of the ones we liked. We'll get into some more of them here at Basketball Insiders.